When using a string trimmer, sooner or later you're going to need to replenish that string. String Trimmer Line is made of nylon and it's made to cut through grass and weeds. Today we're going to show you how to change the trimmer line in a bump feed and an auto feed. Of course, you always want to check your manufacturer's instructions for anything specific. To replace a bump feed string trimmer line, place it on a flat surface. Make sure it's powered off and clean of dirt and debris. Remove the bump knob and spool by pushing the tabs on the sides of the trimmer head. Cut a new piece of string trimmer line, typically 10 to 20 feet, and thread half of it through the holes of the spool. Thread each end of the line through the eyelets on the trimmer head as you connect the spool and bump knob. Wind the bump knob based on the arrows shown on the reel. Apply pressure to wind it evenly. Leave about a foot of the line unwound. To replace an auto feed string trimmer line, place it on a flat surface. Make sure it's powered off and clean of dirt and debris. Remove the spool cap by pushing the tabs on the sides of the trimmer head. Then, remove the old spool. You can replace the old spool with an auto feed line spool. This comes with the line pre-wrapped around the spool and locked into place with holding notches. The holding notches keep the line in place for installation. Thread the lines from both ends of the spool through the eyelets of the trimmer head. Position the spool onto the spindle and push down lightly to secure it. Then release the string trimmer line from the holding notches. Finally, replace the spool cap, snapping it into place onto the trimmer head. Now remember, whenever changing string trimmer line, make sure you have the right type of line. They come in all different sizes, and if you don't have any to match up, check your manufacturer's owner manual to see which size to use.